God morning to everyone today. It's the start of a brand new week. And with that comes brand new God-given opportunities. That's right. And yeah. a good God morning to every one of you. You know, a few Sundays ago, I mentioned that opportunities come to each and every one of us. And it's up to us what we do with those opportunities. So let's purpose today to start at the yeah. start of a brand new week mm -hmm. that we're going to make the most of every opportunity given to us today. Yep, that's right. And while we're doing that, we're going to continue to talk about relationships. And I think by now, family, we can see that without a doubt, God created us to do life together. And we're talking about all kinds of relationships that's right. on all levels. That's, that's, that's yeah. absolutely true. And this week, we're going to talk about how offenses and unforgiveness can become obstacles to building meaningful and healthy relationships. Jesus said in Matthew 18 and verse 7 in the New King James Version, Woe to the world because of offenses, for offenses must come. Hmm. Then in the Passion Translation, it says it like this, Misery will come to the one who lures people away into sin. Now listen to these words. Troubles and obstacles to your faith are inevitable. All right? Truth is that offenses, as, I've, as we've seen in the scripture, are inevitable and they are a part of life, part of our fallen natures. You know, offenses come to test what's really in oh our hearts. That's so yeah, true. Oh, that's true. Because yeah. you know, God always offends your mind to reveal your to heart. see what's in that's the heart. Right. Absolutely. And the real truth is that you will sooner or later offend someone, just like I will sooner or later offend somebody. Yeah. Uh, we're all guilty because as human beings, we will fail and disappoint one another. And oftentimes it's not even done intentionally. And because of that family, it's important to constantly keep our hearts in check. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways we do that is by keeping forgiveness very close to our hearts. And we're gonna look at that in the coming days. But I wanna be able to quickly forgive and release someone who has offended me. And forgiveness helps us to release the negative emotional feelings we may feel as a result of being offended, feelings like mm. anger. Mm. And then there's bitterness and resentment and even sometimes even hatred is there as well. And all of those negative sentiments and emotions can shut down further relationships with others, as well as more importantly, our relationship with God. Mm. All right. So we're going to pray with you. And the important thing to know is that you might have been offended, but also maybe somewhere on the line, you might have also offended somebody else. And I think, I don't know about you, but that just kind of helps yeah. me to you know, say, well, let me just hurry up and forgive that person because sometimes we think uh, we've never offended anybody. And because of that, I'm not, I'm never going to forgive anybody, but we can and we should. All right, right. let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for every person watching today as we are involved in, in building meaningful and health, healthy relationships. Help us to keep forgiveness close to our yes. hearts, God. We never, we, we never want to make ourselves feel that we're in a superior position, that we're justified to keeping that anger, we're justified to keeping that offense. No, on the contrary, all of us are vulnerable. All of us yes. are susceptible. We're all humans. And the truth is that offenses are inevitable. They must come. And I pray that you would help us to guard our hearts and to be able to walk in that forgiveness as quickly as possible, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. Until next time, we love you. God bless you. God bless you. you.